everyone, welcome back to the channel with Monica Louvre at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing a personalized reading on the channel. Now this reading is gonna be specifically for Lena, okay? It's all about Lena today. And it is order number 72177. And I'm just gonna be explaining quickly what how this reading works. So if you are interested in having your personalized reading where we talk about you on the channel, all about you, uh, series and uh, if you're interested in that the link will be in the description box below that will take you to my certified business website where you can place your order and orders are always filled the following business day okay so if you purchase on on a Friday it will be filled on a Monday okay so Saturday and Sunday is not a uh, uh, a business day okay so if you're interested in that links will be below the uh deluxe personalized reading is sold out until the end of the week okay uh on, until sunday so if you're interested in getting a personalized love uh reading about you and your person that is going to be available on sunday there is still uh one i believe one or two personalized readings self-personalized re readings with me which is a little bit different and i'm going to explain how that works so if you're interested in staying and watching and seeing how the reading works then you're more than welcome to stay and watch the personalized readings are going to stay on the channel indefinitely so if you are interested in coming back referring to your personal reading in the future then that option is available for you okay they will not be removed or deleted unless you know youtube does that but i will be keeping the uh personalized readings here on the channel for you indefinitely so you have it okay uh and when the reading is done i send you the link uh personally me i send you an email thanking you for you know contributing to the channel and supporting the channel i do appreciate all the uh, purchases for the personalized readings it really really helps support the channel okay so before i get started i'm just going to mention this is for lena okay i hope i'm saying your name right lena l-i-n-a and that is order number 72177 okay we're going to get into the reading now before i get into this reading i'm going to just briefly explain how this reading works and uh, then we're going to get into it so i'm going to be pulling nine cards i'm going to be pulling three cards for past three cards for the present energy three cards for the future energy for you i'm going to also be pulling your challenge okay now your challenge because this is a self-reading and it's not necessarily uh really connected to another person this is about your self-development this is about what spirit is asking you to identify for your soul growth so we're going to be clarifying all cards in the reading i'm going to also be adding a bonus okay so the self-reading like i said is a little different from the deluxe reading and there is a bonus in this reading and I'm going to be using my special book, Everyday Offerings. I love this book. And I'm going to be randomly pulling, well, not pulling, but I'm going to be seeing what your important soul message is and what it is that you, um, what is the element that is in reference to what is going on in your life, okay? So there's a specific element that you need to know, which ultimately conveys what's really going on in your life and it's this book gets really deep okay so i'm going to be doing that this is a beautiful book so we're going to be doing that and then the second portion of the reading after i clarify and i get all the downloads for you and the things that you need to know i'm going to be looking at your potential soulmates so uh usually anyone who buys the self personalized reading is someone who is looking for love they are looking to see who or how they can attract this person what type of person this is when they're going to meet this person so we're going to look at all of that and i'm also going to be pulling cards from your angel guides your ancestors it could be angels it could be ancestors it could be people that have passed on there's important messages from your guides from your angel guides that you should know uh and again this could be about your personal you know uh love life this could be financial it could be anything because it is a self personalized reading it's all about you in this reading and finally the uh best part of the reading in my eyes <laughs> is the astrology portion because what the astrology portion does is it actually explains to you astrologically from the cards that i pull the energies that you should be focusing on to enhance your life and again enhancing your life could mean a number of different things it can mean 
financially for you. It could mean uh, spiritually. It could be through love. It could be family. It could be anything, okay? But most importantly, it is focused mainly on love, okay? So I just wanted to briefly explain to everybody how this reading works. And if you're someone who is interested in these personalized readings, as you know, they're live. So they're, you know, if you're someone who's private, maybe this is not the type of uh, reading for you, but I like to do my readings live because it really helps to bring transpar transparency, excuse me, to the channel and to my viewers, as well as to my customers, because my customers and my viewers are very important to me. Uh, so this is how we're going to be uh, doing it. But if you are interested in it and you have questions, okay, we're always there 24 seven. I mean, not 24 seven, but we're there 12 hours of the day on the live chat on our website. So we're really transparent. We're really open with what we're offering. And we always, always recommend that you read the uh, product description before purchasing, as well as reaching out to me or someone uh, on the team for customer service to answer any and all of your questions. We're always there to answer any and all of your questions okay so i'm going to clear the air with my bell i love the bell the bell is so beautiful if you don't have a bell get yourself a bell it's just it's amazing okay so let's get into the reading uh just going to confirm it is for lena today it's all about lena on the channel today and this is number seven two one seven seven okay so we're going to get started with the reading for Lena. Okay. And we're, we're using today the ocean tarot deck. This is one of my favorite tarot decks. So if you're interested in purchasing that, check that out. Tell me about Lena. Tell me about Lena. What's the important messages here for Lena? What's the energy for Lena? Tell me about Lena. Okay. What does Lena need to know? What are the important messages? Wow, lots of cards falling out already. Okay, so right away for you, okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, ignore these cards because there's a reason why they're coming out. So the first card that I noticed for you, okay. I just want to quickly mention this energy because it's coming out. Uh, you have the justice here in reverse, okay? Something here is not, something here in your life, ha something happened where it was unfair. You felt like you were treated unfairly. You felt like something here was never really set right. I do feel, okay, that you are in this transition period right now where you're starting to really recognize why something here happened to you. And I do feel for you that there, whatever the situation was, it was completely unfair. You may have felt like you were taken, taken advantage of or somebody here didn't see things um, from your perspective, I do feel like you're slowly coming out of this. Okay. You're slowly coming out of this. You're slowly healing yourself from this situation. You haven't done all the work though. Spirit is saying that spirit is saying, and, and, and you know what? It's interesting that you purchase this reading because it, when the cards fall out like this, it's telling me that there's this reading is going to really be important for you. And it has a lot to do. It's this reading stems from something here that was unfair that happened to you. Okay, that's the main message so far that I'm getting. Tell me about Lena. Tell me about Lena. There's something here about you needing to spend time on your own and kind of avoiding that is what I'm getting here. All right, so your biggest challenge right now when it comes to your life is the angel of ocean healing. Wow, look at that. So here's what I wanna tell you. When I shuffled the cards at the beginning, okay, the cards that came out, you had four cards that came out. The first card that came out that caught my eye was the justice, okay? So what does that mean? It mean, and by the way, these cards came out in reverse. So what does that mean for you? It means that there's something in your life, Lena, okay, that has not been completely healed. And it's not ironic. 
It's not ironic that when I shuffled the cards to get your main message for you is the healing card. And when we look at this card, we see the infinity sign and we see two cups. So there's definitely something here that has really been bothering you in your psyche, in your, in your, um, energetic body. Okay. I focus mainly on the energetic body because we have different layers of the, the spirit. Okay. We have the physical body and then we have the energetic body. We have the astral body and etc. etc. But for you, I feel like there's something here that you want to heal. You're, you know that this is something that you need to heal. It hasn't been set right. You don't know how to set this situation right. We're going to talk about that in your reading. Uh, but overall right now you have something here. The main, the main concern right now from spirit for you is that you need to heal something. Okay. And we're going to talk about that in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the vortex in reverse. Okay. And we're going to talk about the vortex. The vortex is an amazing energy. I'm going to teach you and, um, explain to you how the vortex works and how you can utilize the vortex in your personal life. Okay. So now before I get into your reading, I am going to clarify each of these cards and we're going to talk in depth about the energies that are surrounding your life and the things that you need to know. We're going to get into the everyday offering here. Okay. Everyday offering, uh, pick a hand, follow, follow its lead. I really like this. Uh, so someone purchased this for me and, uh, they were very thoughtful to purchase, pur purchase it, excuse me, for me. So what is your main message in here that you need to hear right now? What is the main message for Lena? What is the main message for Lena? Okay. This is it. Be prepared. Okay. We have be prepared and you have here, it's kind of like a Swiss army knife, I guess. There's like different knives and stuff. So there's something here, uh, Lena, about you being prepared for something. There's something that's coming into your life. I don't know what that is, but your main theme here, okay? Your main theme is to be prepared for something. And we're gonna see what that is throughout the reading. We're gonna connect everything. So let's get into your reading and let's see what's going on. I'm gonna clarify your challenge first, and then I'm gonna briefly talk about the cards before I clarify them. Tell me about Lena's challenge. Why is the angel of ocean here? What's the important message here for Lena? You know, I'm really strongly getting there's something in your life that you want to change. You want this situation to change. It's been this this part of you healing has been ongoing for a while. It's like something that you want to get over, but it's been very, very difficult because it's been ongoing, ongoing for you. It's been very emotional. You've been very emotional. There's a three of swords at the bottom of the deck. So it's just confirming that there's still a lot of healing that you have to do, but it's good, right? Because what I'm sensing, because because you did come to me for a personal reading, it's telling me that you want to make this change. And this is why you're offering, okay? You're offering your message from everyday offerings is be prepared because there's something here that you're gonna realize in this reading that you may have been very blocked or unable to do. Bottom of the deck, you have the three of swords with the heart there and you have the booklet. I am getting that you spend a lot of nights alone, sad, okay? You try to avoid the sadness. You try to avoid confronting the sadness but it's there and you're identifying it. And what spirit is telling me right now, very important message for you is, is that at least you're identifying it because you could just ignore it. There's something here about at one point you were ignoring this and you were ignoring it. And now there's no way for you to ignore it anymore. There's something here you need to be prepared for. And I feel whatever it is that you need to be prepared for, this is something that you are going to be confronting. So let's talk about your challenge. Your challenge is the angel of ocean and at the bottom, bottom of the card here you have healing and the cards that came out before I started the reading were the four of swords you had the two of swords the justice and you had the wisdom card which is the high priest in reverse so there's something here about spiritual awareness I do feel at some point you didn't really believe in spiritual awareness or there's something here about spirituality that you questioned. And then the more the more you started to become open to it, you started to realize, wow, there are things that I need to change or there are things that I need to confront. 
And you've had opportunities is what they're telling me. They're telling me you've had opportunities to become more spiritual, either through friends or um, there's something here about a friend. I think you have a friend or somebody here who's very spiritual. And this person is actually someone who's supposed to help you. Okay. Whoever this person is, they could be a Pisces or they could have some water energy in their chart. They're very spiritual. Whoever this person is, I don't know. They're telling me something here about, I don't know if it's, I don't know who this person is, but there's somebody that you know. I don't know if you spend a lot of time with this person, but they're kind of like an acquaintance or somebody that does spirituality. And this person sees what you need to change. And you're kind of just still getting into this place of, okay, yeah, I'll try it out and see what it's all about. But you're still skeptical is what I'm getting. Okay. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with a relationship. Okay. In the past, there was some sort of relationship that you were either involved in or that you were connected to. I do feel that this person is someone that you hold very dearly to your heart. You still have a lot of emotions for this person. You still envision yourself being with this person. This is about a relationship, okay? Your challenge, because you're still healing from something here. Now, one of the things that I'm seeing here for you, Lena, is there is, I don't want to say there's a blockage because I don't really think it's a blockage. I think there's a lot of indec indecisiveness when it comes to your personal life and what it is that you want. Now, it doesn't mean that you don't know what you want. It just means you don't know how to get there. Okay, so you may know what you want. You may know exactly what direction you want to take in your life, but there is some sort of hesitation or there's a lack of being able to take action or there's a lack of being able to make some sort of plans and this has a lot to do with someone from your past okay and you may not think that you may say to yourself no no no, i'm over that person from the past or you know it's not a big deal but they are showing up in your reading okay and it's not random <laughs> that certain cards come out in your reading especially the four of swords in reverse and then your challenge is a healing card and then at the bottom of the deck you have the three of swords so you may think that you got over this person person from the past, but there's still some sort of lingering emotions that are there, okay, that are blocking you from being able to take action towards the dreams that you want. The two of wands here in reverse often talks about a separation or can talk about somebody needing to make a decision about the direction that they want to take in their life. And for you, the direction that you may want to take in your life has a lot to do with wanting to be happy in a relationship, wanting to heal issues from the past with a particular person. I feel like there's someone here, okay? Now, this person, I'm just going to put this story out there. It may resonate, it may not, but I'm just going to put it out there. This person may have passed on. They may have been somebody that you were very connected to. If this is someone that you had a very strong relationship with and they passed on, they watch you, they're still connected to you, the, the moon is here. The moon, one thing that a lot of you may not know, okay, in my research, the moon is a portal, okay, spiritually. I'm gonna talk about that portal briefly for you because it is a part of your reading. The moon is a portal and the moon and the sun are both portals, okay? Sun and moon are both portals. You come in through the sun and you leave through the moon. Okay, I'm going to say that again. You come in through the sun. That's why when the sun is rising on the eastern horizon astrologically, you have a rising sign. The rising sign comes from the sun because you come in through the sun spiritually. Okay, you go out through the moon. So this person, if they did go out through the moon and they passed on, we see the black cat here. This person could have had a black cat or you have a black cat or a black cat is cats are somewhat associated with this. Now, this is the... Um, which tarot so cats are involved here it's not ironic that i picked the cat tarot today so this person has passed on or this person has disconnected from you in some sort of way with the moon here and you still think about them i do feel this person thinks about you there's a lot of memories here but ever since this breakup or this person passed on or there was a disconnect between you and this person, being able to move forward with your life has been very challenging. You've been, you've had ideas. You've had things that you wanted to do. You have like crazy ideas about what you want to achieve in this world and you just can't find the energy to do it. And it's because you still have a lot of um, healing to do. You still have a lot of realizations. And there's something here, Lena, about surrendering, okay? I'm going to talk about surrendering. Surrendering is 
trying not to always feel like you have to be in control, okay? Not always feeling you have to be the greatest or the best or the this or the that or putting standards on yourself. This is about giving yourself a break. And once you do that, the universe sees that you are surrendering, okay? I recommend you look up the word surrender and also do some research on surrendering spiritually because what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to just be. There's something here about you not always having pressure, putting pressure on you, on yourself, and that's part of your healing, okay? So you need to be prepared because there are changes that are coming in and we're gonna talk about that. So let's talk about the recent past. Now in the recent past, you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Wands. So I do feel, here's that vision card, and it's upright this time. So in the past, you were someone who was all about a vision, okay? You believed that you wanted to achieve this, you wanted to achieve that. You may have been in a relationship casually with someone here. You were dating someone here in the past, okay? Or if this isn't about you dating someone here, wanted to come into your life, offer you love. Now, I am seeing two elements here. I'm seeing water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and I'm also seeing earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, maybe a Leo or an Aries. Somebody here, even if this person that you were dealing with here in the past, even if they're not that specific sign, okay, there was an energy coming into your life, but it was moving very slowly. Somebody here had a proposal. They had an offer. It's like, I want to move forward with you. I want to be with you. I want to move into this direction. You had a beautiful vision about moving forward. The problem that I'm seeing here, okay, uh, for you in the recent past is, is that you and this person were not on the same page. As much as you may have believed at some point that you and this person were going to be in a relationship and that you were going to move forward with this idea and vision that you had, you and this person were not it's like you weren't in sync here in the past. Was there a lot of tra attraction? Absolutely. But you and this person were not in sync, okay? And we're gonna clarify and find out more about that for you in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the Nine of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. So it looks like in the present moment, there's a lot of fear and anxiety surrounding someone here who is coming in and offering you love. And this is why you're everyday offering is be prepared because there's something here that you need to be prepared for. And I feel like this has a lot to do with an offer of love that is coming in for you. You also have this Swiss army knife here. I recommend looking up the symbology of a Swiss army knife. For me, um, symbologically, the Swiss Army knife is about being prepared when you're in the wilderness, when you are camping, when you are in a place where you don't have the resources that you would have in everyday life. So this is about you getting prepared to change something here. And in the present moment, you have the Nine of Swords. So what this is indicating to me energetically for you is there is a lot of fear and anxiety about your love life. There's a lot of fear and anxiety about the direction your life is going to take. There's some sort of fighting energy, competing energy within you. I don't feel like you show this to people. I think you may come across as somebody here who... Um, you may say to everybody, I'm good, I'm fine, everything's all right, but deep down inside, there's a lot of anxiety and fear. I do feel like there's some sort of conflicting energy that you've been trying to release. And I'm gonna tell you this, okay? I'm gonna tell you this. You may not like what I'm about to tell you, but you know, if you've recently started watching me, uh, I'm somebody who keeps it very real and I'm very honest in the readings because I wanna help you, okay? So the Queen of Cups is someone here who's coming in, but, and I did mention this to other um, people who have received personal readings from me, if you haven't done the healing, if you haven't released, getting this opportunity that you're looking for is gonna require you to be prepared. And we're gonna talk about how you can be prepared because if you're somebody who sits in fear and anxiety all the time and you have this conflicting energy within you because of somebody here that passed on or somebody here that you once very much loved but things failed between you and this person, Attracting this new love, sure, they're going to come in. They're going to see that you're a nice, kind person. There's something here about you like liking to smile all the time. You're somebody who, I'm, I'm getting a calm energy. I'm getting someone here who likes to enjoy life. But it's this one thing that's been bothering you deep down inside and it's created so much anxiety that this may create some sort of blockage. And this is why you have the Be Prepared card and the Healing card. Okay. And I actually talked about the ocean yesterday in my previous personal reading, and it's funny that it's coming up here. Uh, so we're going to talk about that for you in a moment. 
Now, in the near future, you have the Ten of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups, okay? Now, I'm really strongly getting here in the near future, there is going to be some sort of reunion. There's going to be happiness. Now, if you, I'm just going to put a few stories out there. If you are someone who wants to reconcile with someone here, and it depends if this person has passed on, obviously reconciling with them in this at this time may not be possible. But if this is someone who's still here and they're still, you still have feelings for them, there is a possibility that they are going to come back in the future. Now, if this person has passed on, you will eventually meet them again. This is how it goes spiritually, okay? So there's no need to be sad or angry or upset that there was an opportunity missed. In the near future, what I find very, very, very good for you that, again, you should be prepared for is if your life has been very difficult, if you have been struggling, if you've been in a place of trying to get over something from the past or moving forward with your life or realizing there's something here about you wanting to realize a goal and you haven't been able to realize this goal, it's like you want to realize it, but it's been blocked that is going to come to an end. You have a responsibility with the 10 of wands and it is your responsibility in the near future to close something out that's been very difficult for you because this situation that's been very difficult for you is something here that you have to identify. It's not something I can identify for you. It's not something anyone else can identify for you. You have to say, look, enough is enough. I'm not doing this anymore. And that's what I'm seeing you do in the near future. And we're going to talk about what that situation is that you need to take responsibility for. Because here's the thing in life, we can pretend, not pretend, but we can act like we're victims or we can say, you know what? Sorry, not doing it anymore. I'm going to put an end to this, this situation that has really been bothering me. And there is something here that's been bothering you. You also have the six of pentacles here, which is generosity. So in the near future, things are going to come back into balance for you. I do see you attracting someone here that wants to give you love, that wants to give you stability, wants to give you support. And guess what? You're going to be celebrating that. Okay. This is about a reunion coming together. We have the dolphin there. So there's definitely... A strong energy here of a reunion coming together, happiness, okay? Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, deck, excuse me, is the vortex in reverse. And you have the ace of pentacles in reverse. And you have the lovers in reverse, okay? And the ace of cups in reverse. So this is about new love that's coming into your life. It is in reverse. And it doesn't have to be... By the way, when I do reversals, a lot of people think it's a bad thing. No, it's not. What the reversals are actually doing for you is they're identifying what you don't see coming. And because the Ace of Cups is in reverse, the Lovers is in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and the Vortex is in reverse, what does that mean? It means that if you're not prepared, okay, your, your everyday offering was what? Prepared. If you're not prepared, you may miss an opportunity to attract this new love to be able to have that soulmate connection that you want deep. By the way, you deeply want this. The moon and the two of cups, you deeply want this. You're like, I want a soulmate. I want a lover. I want someone who's going to love me. And you know what? Don't let anybody tell you that it's not possible. It is because I'm somebody who had who has experienced it. Okay, I can tell you that it does exist. I was somebody who was very skeptical. I said, ah, love, whatever, like, I don't believe in that. That's that's just some like hocus pocus nonsense. No, it's actually real. It is actually real. Okay. And, you know, oftentimes people may say to us, no, it's hocus pocus. It, it's not. No, it, it exists. Soulmates are true and real and they exist. And one is coming into your life, but you still have some sort of issues that you need to release. We're going to talk about that. Now, before I get into your reading, there's one more thing I want to mention is the vortex. The vortex in reverse is telling me you're not flowing. You need to flow more with life. And one of the things that I always recommend to my viewers is the affirmations. Okay. I deserve love. I am who I attract. Love is easy for me to find. I'm going to attract such and such person. You need to start making a list of the type of person you want to attract. You need to also become that person. And what that is uh, going to do for you is it's going to put you in the vortex, okay? Uh, I like to listen to um, uh, Abraham Hicks. I think that's the name. I don't know, but Abraham. Uh, and, 
you know, they talk about the vortex and it's about flowing with life, being being in this energy of knowing that you deserve to attract love in your life. And this is how, Lena, you are going to prepare because there's a lot of inner work that you still have to do before you can actually, actually attract this soulmate that is coming into your life. This is something that you want. You've been feeling blocked in love for quite some time. Okay, so let's get into your reading and uh, let's clarify the past. Let's clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So in the recent past, you have the Knight of Pentacles here, loyalty. I do feel like someone here in the past was coming in to be with you, uh, towards you. There was a lot of success here in the past, but even though there was a lot of success, it's like you accomplished something. It's like, yeah, I'm going to have a new beginning with this person. They still moved very slowly towards you. I am getting that there was a conflict because of this, because it, it's almost like, I have to say this, I feel like there was some sort of... Uh, you know, unexpected disappointment here in the past. It's like, yeah, I'm going to have a new beginning. I know exactly where I'm going. I finally achieved, you know, the attracting this love. And even if this didn't happen in this lifetime, it could be something that you're still holding on to from a past life. Okay. From a different life. And we have multiple lives. That's my theory. Uh, I do feel like we come back in a different body, but that's just my theory. I'm not saying everybody will agree with that, but I am, a very strong believer that the soul is eternal, that our souls are eternal. We come into this life with innate qualities and abilities, okay? That's why people are born with, uh, you know, abilities to do things that, you know, they're born and they just know how to do certain things. It's like they have magical powers. It's because in their past life, they, you know, conquered something, they achieved something, and that's why they're able to do that. So in the recent past, you attracted somebody here who really had potential to be loyal towards you. You really believed that this person in the past was someone you were going to have a new beginning with. And most importantly, you believe that you were going to have success with them, but there was some sort of conflict here. And I do feel that this conflict for you led to some sort of separation. So it broke this vision that you had. And this is why your challenge has the two of wands in reverse. It's like ever since there, this, ever since this disappointment happened in, happened here, excuse me, in the past, it kind of made you start to believe that maybe it's not possible. Maybe it's not possible for me to have love. Maybe it's not possible for me to, and, and, and this is where you have to be careful because if you're saying that to yourself or you're believing that, or you're not taking control of these, uh, negative mind, mind talk, negative mind frame, um, it is going to affect your ability to attract the love that you're seeking. So tell me more about this vision in the recent past that Lena had when it came to uh, love life here in the past. So the two of wands is clarified by the lovers, the ace of wands and the wheel of fortune. You see the disappointment was the fact that you believed in the past that this was your soulmate. You're like, this is the one, this is who I'm supposed to be with. You are very ready to give them love. There's something here telling me that you have a strong water presence in your chart. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you could have a, a strong water energy, maybe a fire energy or an earth energy for you. And there's also a strong energy here of an Aquarius energy. So you had a dream, you had a goal. You're like, yes, I'm, I'm going to be in love with this person here, you know? And again, there was a conflict. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups here in the recent past for Lena. Okay, so the Knight of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. I feel like this is you, this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, I didn't get your sign, but I am getting that you have a water presence. And even if you're not a water sign, you're someone who can tend to be very emotional, is what it's telling me. You immediately closed off. One of the cards that came flying out when I first started your reading was the Two of Swords, and it was in reverse. And that those four cards that came out was very much connected to your energy coming into this reading, okay? Because when cards start flying out and things start to go a little bit crazy, it's because there's something here that is within your energy that you may not be identifying. So it's, it's, very, it's not ironic. 
okay? You have the two of swords here in the recent past, but it's upright. So you had a goal. You had a vision. It didn't work out. Something here failed. You tried and tried to work things out on numerous, numerous occasions with this person. Constant conflicts. It left you in a place of feeling isolated, alone, by yourself. You felt like you were being punished. Okay. You could have said to yourself, why am I being punished? Why am I going through this? Why is this happening? Why am I experiencing this? You couldn't really make sense of why you were going through this and why it was happening. Okay. So there's something here about karma here in the recent past and i do feel like this karma is very much connected to this person that you once very much loved okay so this is what i'm seeing here major disappointment in the past you had a vision to be with this person it didn't happen there was constant conflict there could have been even conflict about um money there could have also been conflict excuse me about um decisions that needed to be made here and that really compromised your ability to have a new beginning with this person, okay? Bottom of the deck here, we have the uh, Six of Swords. I do feel like this person came back. They would come back, then they would leave. They, they would come back, they would leave. There was this constant test here, okay, in the recent past. Now, in the present moment, there is love coming in for you, okay? Now, if this isn't love coming into your life, this could be you. We're gonna clarify and see who this Queen of Cups is. I do feel like this is someone who's coming in because the Queen of Cups here with the sensitivity is very much connected to your energy from the past. And it's also connected to the Be Prepared card and the Healing card. Because one thing I'm gonna tell you about your soulmate, even though we're not on that uh, portion of the reading, one thing I wanna mention about your soulmate is that this person who's coming in mirror is going to mirror you. They're going to mirror who you are. Tell me more about this person with the Queen of Cups for Lena. Who is this person? Wow. Four of Swords in reverse. Again, look. Okay. I just want you to make sure you see that. Four of Swords. You see the Four of Swords? It's in reverse. What cards came out at the beginning of your reading? The Four of Swords in reverse. And there it is again. Very important message here for you. There is a soulmate that's coming into your life. As you can see with the Ten of Cups here, it's a beautiful connection that's coming in. The person that you are going to be attracting may have a child or you may have a child here. Somebody here is all about picnics. They like to have picnics. They like to go out and be by the nature here. I am seeing in the present moment that this love that is coming into your life, you've been calling for it, okay? You could be someone who does affirmations. You may be somebody who likes um, like witchy stuff or you may be into, there's something here about affirmations or you do something, there's spe something specific that you do. And if you're not doing this, you may plan on doing it or you may be researching about it. Um, there's something here about you becoming the magician, you calling for what it is that you want. And there's a lot of ways to do that. I do it myself. I do a lot of like writing things down. If I want something, I just write it down and then it happens. So you're learning in the present moment. Okay. Because one thing I want to tell you is you really want to overcome this, this, um, trauma that you have within you. You're, you're like, what do I have to do? I, I just need to know. I need to know. <laughs> okay. Which is so good because what spirit is saying to you is like, wow, you're actually wanting this. You're actually being proactive. And that's what you may have not realized in recent years that you actually do have control. Okay. A lot of us don't realize that we actually do have control over the reality that we're setting and creating for ourselves through our words, through our actions, through our thoughts, through the things that we write down, the things that we focus our energy on. So if you notice here with the eight of wands, you're, you're like, listen, this is what I want. You're speaking to the universe and you're saying, this is what I want, but you're also creating a blockage as well too. There's still some sort of blockage here. And this is why you need to be prepared because what you need to know, Lena, is that you are, you deserve to be happy. Bottom line, you deserve to be happy. You are going to attract love into your life. This is what you want, but you need to work on the blockage here. Okay. And this has a lot to do with someone here from the past. You are doing it, but you still have some work to do. Now let's talk about the nine of swords. This is your anxiety. This is your fear. You need to be careful with your fear and anxiety, and you need to hone that in because if you're in a place of, is it going to happen that you automatically make yourself 
be in a position of not being in control by that. Once you set an intention, okay, once you set an intention, it's I deserve love, period, end of story. It's not, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to worry it's not happening. I'm going to this, I'm going to that. If you have issues falling asleep at night, I recommend putting on, um, there are, uh, and they're all over YouTube. You can put on Hertz, okay? Certain vibrations that will help you sleep. Certain vibrations to clear the energy in your home. Certain vibrations to clear and heal your heart. Most importantly, your heart here is very important. So there's something here about anxiety. You need to hone this in. The fighting energy, the conflict within you, uh, the sleepless, restless nights, because that's just creating more blockages. I don't think you're aware of these blockages. I think there's things in your life that happen that are currently happening and they go wrong and you say, why is this going wrong? I don't understand why, you know, why it's going wrong because it's all coming from your psyche. It's all coming from the energetic uh, layer of your body. And this is unresolved issues. Tell me more about the nine of swords in the present moment for Lena. You have the chariot, the four of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. You're alone right now. You're single. You're alone. And it's conf uh, confirming here with the nine of pentacles. You did purchase the self-reading, which is often a reading for people who are single. So you spend a lot of time on your own. Okay. You spend a lot of time on your own. You may be somebody who likes to read. You like to research. You may like wine here. I see like caviar or you like enjoying you know, eating little um, snacks. I'm seeing like platters of like snacks and stuff like that that you like. Uh, but you, there's something here you avoid, okay? And what you avoid is this situation that happened in your past that you're still holding on to. You are being called right now in the present moment to choose. You have a decision to make with the chariot here, okay? You have a decision to make. You can go this way or you can go that way. And this goes back to what is being blocked, the uh, two of wands in reverse. And with the chariot here, we see two wands, okay? You see the two wands here. So what that's telling me right now is you have a choice mentally okay this is a mental war that you're going through it's not a physical war it's a mental war because you may avoid confronting your feelings your thoughts in regards to this person from the past you need to be prepared to either release them and accept something here that happened in the past but don't associate what happened in the past to you with what is likely going to happen in the future if you learn the lesson, okay, and this is a very important message for you, if you learn the lesson of why something here happened in the recent past, why it failed, why it didn't work out, then you'll be able to completely move forward. And this is what the conflict is in the present moment that's stopping you from attracting the love that you want, okay? Tell me more about the five of swords in the present moment for Lena. What is the, what are the other important messages here? You have the emperor, you have the hanged man and you have the three of wands. You see, you want to move forward, but you can't. Okay, there's something that's holding you back. Bottom of the deck, you have the five of pentacles. This is about you releasing things that are no longer supporting your vision. So how do we do that? Okay, the best way to do that for you is what they're telling me is you need to start preparing. There's two things that you need to do. The first thing is, is you need to start preparing as if this person who you're attracting is already in your life. Okay, how is your house going to look? How is your car going to look? How is your uh, image going to look? How is your appearance going to look? What are you going to say to this person? What are they going to say to you? Are they going to come through the front door? Are you going to meet them out? Are you going to, you got to act as if this person's already in your life. Okay. And that's how you're going to prepare. You're going to be prepared. So when they come in, they just integrate right away into your life. And you're like, yes, this is what I want. Cause that's what you want. You want a soulmate here. You need to start also creating stability within your mind. There's something here about your mind going here, going there, going here, going there, going here, going there, and you don't have control over your thoughts. I highly recommend that you start doing affirmations every single day in the morning. I like, I'm wearing my grateful shirt today. This is one of my favorite shirts. I, this shirt reminds me every day to wake up and say, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm thankful, I'm grateful. My love is coming into my life. I'm grateful, I'm thankful. What you're going to start feeling is vibrations through your body. 
A lot of people don't feel, don't believe that affirmations work. They actually absolutely work. I've done them in my life. They worked for me. They're going to work for you. This is how you're going to bring stability into your life and attract the emperor, okay, into your life or the empress, depending on what your preference is, okay? So even though you're sitting around because you are sitting around and you're like, mm, whatever, if something happens, happens, that's fine. But the truth is, while you're sitting around and waiting, you should be doing affirmations. You should not just be sitting there and just waiting for something to happen to you. You need to start taking control. And that's what the chariot is all about. It's about you taking control of your thoughts, you releasing what's no longer supporting your development and your growth. This can be negative thoughts. This can be thoughts that, are, that continue to hold you back. You may... You may not be aware of these negative thoughts until you watch this reading. And then you're going to say, wow, yeah, Monica's right. I do have to release these negative emotions uh, because all that's doing is blocking you. But while you're sitting around and you are wanting this future, wanting this new phase that is coming into your life, you also have to recognize that you are the magician. And as we see here with the three of wands, we see this magician here, right? With the wand. It's like, yeah, I'm creating this, this, this future reality of what I want. So you need to realize right now, um, one, you need to prepare this by working on your thoughts. You also have to recognize that you are the magician and that you don't need to beg. There's something here about begging all the time or saying, please, pl you don't need to do that. You are the magician. Okay. And that's something here that you need to realize, which is going to ultimately prepare you and shift your focus into being able to attract this love that you're seeking. Okay. So that's what's happening for you in the present moment. Now let's talk about the near future. Now in the near future, you have something here that is going to come to an end. That's been very difficult for you. Tell me more about the 10 of wands for Lena in the near future. Okay, so the Ten of Wands for you is clarified by the Four of Wands. You have the Hermit and the Strength. You know what I find really nice for you um, is the Hermit is here. The Hermit is telling me, if you notice uh, this person, I feel like the Hermit is you. Okay, you could have Virgo very strong in your chart as well too. You're going to start realizing, uh, and the owl's here as well too. You may want to look up the owl here. The owl is um, esoteric knowledge. This is about you starting to be aware of your powers that you have. A lot of us tend to find that we're powerless and we're actually very powerful. So you have the hermit here. You're going to be, there's something here about camping or going into nature or being in nature. There's something here about you liking nature. I'm getting a very strong nature energy. You may be somebody who likes trees, you like to plant, you like flowers. You could be someone here who likes to be outdoors. You could be an outdoorsy person. You could also have Leo very strong here in your chart. There's a love that's coming into your life. This is going to lead to the celebration, like I said. But the only way this is going to happen for you is when you completely start to take control of your life. There are certain things that have happened to you in your life and you've actually realized over the last few months or last few years that the only person that's been holding you back is you because you've been believing that you've been powerless and you're actually not power powerless. So in the near future, the 10 of wands is telling me that you're no longer going to be in this place of trying to push things to make things happen. There's something here about you in the past pushing things and making things happen. And you know why this has happened to you. Uh, I'm just going to put this out there. It's not, it may resonate with you. It may not, but I'm just, I'm just downloading right now. So I'm just kind of saying what they're telling me to tell you. They're telling me that you're someone who's a skeptic or you were a skeptic in the past about spirituality or about tarot or about astrology. You're very skeptical. You're like, yeah, that stuff doesn't exist. And that's why um, that's why in the past, whatever happened to you happened. It happened because spirit wanted to come down and tell you you're not in control. You may have been somebody in the past where you were like, yeah, I'm in control. Yeah, I know I'm in control. I know. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. You are in control, but you're also not in control. Okay. And there's a, that's the balance, right? That's the, this is part of your challenge because we see the in, infinity sign. It's like, yes, I do have control, but then I don't, I do. And I don't. And you know what this is? It's the yin and the yang, the dark and the light. There's the dark and the light. If there's no darkness, then there's no light. And if there's no light, there's no darkness. So you've been learning Okay, this painful situation that happened to you that you slowly, it's taken you maybe years to get over, 
is because you're learning that you're not in control, but you are also in control. I know that sounds contradicting, but it's to get you into this place of realizing who you are and how and, and, and who you are and how you can manifest what you want. Okay, so I know that sounds difficult to really swallow and comprehend, but over time you're going to get it. Okay, and this is what you're dropping here in the near future. You're if you look at this person with the hermit, you see how they're sitting by the fire and they're just meditating. That's the energy that you're going to be in the near future instead of in this energy of like, well, is it going to happen? You know, and you're constantly in your head and then that leads to you not being able to sleep at night. And then, you know, you're reaching out for the wrong people or the wrong situation. You don't want to be in that situation. So in the near future, guess what? You are learning how to have strength. You're learning how to manifest what it is that you want. It's not ironic that I picked this deck, which is a witch deck. It's for people who manifest and create their own reality. So because you're doing this and you're starting to get in touch with spirituality, because we're all here to master something, we're all here to master the 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 laws of the universe. Okay. That's who we are. We're we all we are all my my slogan is we are all magicians. Okay. We just got to get to that level of, of learning that. Uh, so when things go wrong in our life like it did in your in the past for you it's not that you're not in control. It's just that the way in which you're, you're, you're putting your control needs to change. So you may have said, yeah, it's going to work out. Yeah, everything's going to be fine. And then boom, you're disappointed. But are you going to remain being disappointed and then allow your mind to control things? Or are you going to say, I'm the one in control? That's what the strength is all about here. So your life is going to come back into balance once you get back into balance here. And I see you doing that. Tell me more about this reunion, this celebration that's coming in for Lena in the near future with the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is clarified by the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. So in the near future, I do feel like you're going to have a reunion with uh, either a family member or somebody here who's very close to you. This could be uh, someone that you haven't seen in a very, very, very long time. There is a soulmate that is coming in. There's a soulmate that's coming in for you. King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. This is two court cards side by side that are coming in. But I see you reconciling with a friend. It's like a friend. There's a friend here or a family member who you're connected, who connects you to the soulmate. So how do you meet this person? You meet this person through another person. Okay. And it's at a party or a gathering or a get together. And you're manifesting this in the near future because you're spending time in nature. So one of the things that I mentioned yesterday in one of the personalized readings was the ocean. So there's different ways to manifest what you want and to create open channels. One of the ways to do that is through the healing, uh, the ocean. So you can go into the ocean. I think you're in Canada. You're in the same province as me. <laughs> so there's no ocean here, but you can go to BC. You can go, you can do a salt bath at home. And, but for you, I don't think the salt bath is for you. What I think for you, because I'm getting more, even though I'm getting you're either an earth sign or a water sign, or you have that very strong in your chart. There's something here about fire. Okay. Being around fire, being in nature, nature and fire is going to help remove your blockages. It's going to help you ground yourself and it's going to help center your mind. Cause there's something here about your mind. You allow your mind to kind of just go off into the abyss. And then when your mind goes off into the abyss, you, you lose control. And that's why in the past you lost control because you were too, you believe something here was going to work out hundred percent. And when it failed, then you lost your power. That's what happened. You lost your power. And then you stop believing in certain things and you start to become skeptical. Now that's changing and that's what's allowing you to heal. So in the near future, there's someone who's coming in to, um, to introduce you to someone. You need to be in the vortex, okay? The vortex is in reverse here, so you need to flow. You need to start doing meditations and you need to be prepared. This is how you're going to prepare because being prepared means that a soulmate's coming in. You're going to have a celebration. It's all going to work out for you, but is your mind in the right mind? In the, is your mind in the right mind frame? If it's not, then you need to work on that, okay? So let's clarify the six of pentacles. Tell me more about the six of pentacles for Lena in the near future. Now, Lena's reading is going to go a little bit longer because I feel like I need to work. And by the way, I just want to mention this for those of you that are just watching because you want to watch. Sometimes readings are a little bit longer than others because 
that's what I'm being called to do. Okay. I don't look at time. I don't, you know, even though there is a time limit on this, uh, cause I have to put one, there is always certain, um, readings that will be longer than others. Okay. Because of the severity of the situation. Okay. And that's just spiritual. So six of pentacles is clarified by the nine of wands. You have the seven of pentacles and the magician. Yes. Wow. Wow, look at this. We've been talking about this and look, and guess what's happening in the near future? You're starting to recognize your power. Finally, good for you. I like that, great. That's what's gonna come back into balance in your life. You have the seven of pentacles. You're gonna start planning, making plans. You're gonna be thinking about um, what it is that you wanna manifest. So you see how you're transitioning from the nine of wands. Now, by the way, the nine of wands here, okay? Just take a look at this card, the nine of wands. The nine of wands is someone here who constantly feels like a victim. It's like, oh, this, you know, it's like life just happens to me. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Life doesn't just happen to us. We are the manifestors and creators of that. And that's what you're realizing. So what you're putting to an end here is the nine of wands, which turns into the 10 of wands, which is you dropping this burden, dropping this burden of being the victim, dropping this burden of just letting life happen to you. You're going to start meditating. There's something here about meditating by the fire, going in nature, camping. You may camp this summer. And when you're camping, you're going to have a major realization, third eye opening. You're going to have a major realization of your strength. And you're going to realize that the only person that's been holding you back is yourself from love. Okay. There's one friend, a friend that's going to introduce you to someone. You're going to meet them. You're going to instantly attract and, and like this person. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing for you. Let's get some advice. What is the advice for you moving forward? What a beautiful reading. Wow. Wow, very interesting information. What is the advice for Lena at this time? Okay, you have the Nine of Cups, a wish. You have the Eight of Pentacles, achievement. And you have judgment, self reflection. Now your whole entire reading is all about you. Okay. This is the self reading. We call, we call this personalized self reading for the self and your advice ends off with the final card, self reflection judgment. Your biggest piece of advice, Lena, moving forward is to recognize what you need to do within yourself to bring happiness. Here's the thing. Nobody is going to want to come in and be with you if you're not happy with yourself. There's something here about you constantly needing to recognize the things that you need to change in your life in order to be happy. Don't just let life happen to you. If you have a goal, if you have a dream, work on it. Don't just give up on it. Don't go back to the past and remember the past and say, I'm a failure. I'm, I, you know, I could have had this and I, I failed or this happened. There, there was a missed opportunity here in the past, but it doesn't mean that there isn't a new opportunity for you. The best way to be able to attract this new opportunity, right? Which is like we did see the Ace of Cups in reverse, which new love is coming in. But if you're not prepared, it will pass you by. This is why you have the prepared. Keep going to go back to that for you. Uh, you need to start self-reflecting more, okay? And it's not just, oh, I'm going to sit back and wait for life to happen. No. What do I need to work on every day to be happy, okay? Get a hobby. Start finding like-minded people. Filling your mind with positive affirmations. This is the type of work that you're being called to do in order to get to this self-realization, okay? In order to get to this place of being happy. Because you know what? Nobody wants to be with someone if they're not happy. If somebody is always, and I'm not saying you're not a happy person, but if you're still holding on to something here that happened in the past, uh, energetically, this may be something that's staining your aura, okay? Like I said, we have different layers of our body, okay? This is why we have, you know, you have the light graph. I don't know if you've, uh, they used to do in the 80s. I don't know if they still do it now, but they have the light graph and the graph has different colors and that's your aura. And whatever it is that you haven't worked on within yourself, it will show. People will see it. Uh, people that are more psychically in tune will see it more than others, but it's still subconsciously there. So your biggest piece of advice is to constantly do meditation, do a lot of reflection. You need to ask yourself, am I really happy? What can I do to change that? How can I work on myself? This is about you constantly working on yourself all the time. 
you need to start investing into yourself okay it could be physically emotionally mentally spiritually but this is what you need to do when you do that you will go through some sort of self-realization, which I feel like you're gonna do in the near future. And guess what? All your blockages are gonna be removed. You're going to attract the soulmate. And at that point, you're gonna realize a very big lesson. The big lesson here is, I don't just let life happen to me. I make life happen. I make life happen. Okay, that's your affirmation, okay, that I'm giving you. I make life happen and then meditate. Okay, so this is your reading. This is what I have for you. Wow, what an intense reading for you. Uh, we're gonna move on to the second portion of the reading. I really enjoyed doing this reading. Wow, I enjoyed doing all readings, but um, there's something about you know the personalized readings and removing the blockages that I really enjoy doing. So I hope this reading helped you. Uh, we're gonna move on to the second portion of your reading. And if you're just tuning in, you're watching this live with me here and you're on the chat, this is a personalized reading. And if you're interested in having a personalized live reading with me, Monica Louvre, on the love messages, uh, you can check the links below in the description box. Now the deluxe reading is, um, it's, it's sold out. So if you are interested in purchasing the self, I think the self, there's one left. If you're not interested in that and you want the deluxe, it will be back in reinstocked, reinstocked, restocked on Sunday. Okay. So make sure that you are following the channel. You are following everything that you need to follow. Okay. So we're going to be looking now at Lena's um, ancestor angel messages. Now, if someone here passed on, they could be trying to communicate with you. I am going to be using this deck and we're going to also be looking at your soulmates that you're going to be attracting. And we're going to also be taking a look at your astrology. Okay. And the astrology is going to help you uh, focus on the planets, the elements that you need to focus on to enhance your life and to get into this vortex, because this is where you are headed into attracting that soulmate. Okay. We see two uh, energies there of attracting a soulmate. So let's get into it. I'm going to start off with your angel messages. Tell me about Lena. What are the important messages from ancestors, guides, angels? What is it that Lena needs to know at this time from her ancestors and angels? Tell me about Lena. What's the important messages? Stop right there. Okay. So the first message for you is number six. Number six. Okay. And there's a person here in a wheelchair. So you may know someone in a wheelchair. Maybe you experienced this. Okay, number six is an important number here. And the message for you is the good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. So you may be someone here who received um, an inheritance, okay, or financial uh, abundance is in your life. And this person who left this money to you, I do feel like it was a, a father who passed on or a family member who passed on. This person may have been someone who was in a wheelchair or they may have experienced being in a wheelchair at some time. Something, something's telling me it's a Capricorn here um, or somebody with a strong Capricorn element in their chart. There's something here about you sharing your wealth with other people or helping other people okay and you know this is not helping everyone but helping certain people there's something here about this being this financial abundance in your life is connected to your love life it is connected to something here that you greatly want to achieve and i feel like that's something that you could be planning on doing giving or you may be starting a charity or you may be interested in doing that let me clarify this six card here Tell me more about this message from Lena's angels. What is this all about?
Yeah, there's something here about you getting involved in community or something here about helping other people. You uh, may not realize this, but this person, whoever this person is that passed on or who gave you this inheritance, there's something here about inheritance or um, there's some sort of financial abundance here. You were given this financial abundance to be able to help other people. There's something here about you being able to set things right or being very, there's something here about you being logical and you can offer some sort of guidance to your community. I'm also getting with the page of cups here that you may end up meeting, okay? Someone here who you're gonna fall in love with because there's something here about you getting back to what you love doing. It's like in the past, you were somebody who liked to be with other people. You liked to be in community you like to be a part of the group and over time you stop being like that you start to become more solitary kind of being on your own and really there's something here about you meeting somebody in this type of setting it's like you should go back to this type of setting that you enjoy doing smiles laughter happiness there's something here about you being involved in community and this person who passed on is saying to you, get back to that get back to this place of doing what i used to do there's something here about this person passing on and they used to um they used to help people or they used to be like soup kitchens or something here about homeless people or there's something here about that that you're being called to do, okay? Now, the next uh, message from your spirit guides is number five. And I'm gonna pull one more randomly. There's somebody here like a grandmother or a, a, a mom and wow, look at this. Wow, you're gonna be like shocked when I say this to you. So number five is ether, okay? Number five, number six is community, Virgo energy. Number five is Leo energy, it's ether, the sun. The five of pentacles here is about you releasing these negative thoughts, like I was saying. And look at what the card says here. And this is your what your angels are saying to you. Look, I'm just gonna, hopefully it focuses. So it says negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges, fear surrounding money, reach out to others for assistance, poor timing, becoming self-employed. So right now for you, okay, and again, this all may not resonate with you, but there's one specific thing that does resonate with you and it does resonate with me while I'm doing your reading, your negative thoughts. You may not realize, okay, and you may realize this after you watch this, that your negative thoughts have actually created the blockages in your life that have stopped you from attracting love, that have made everything go wrong in your life. You really got to take care of that, okay? And this person could be a mother or a grandmother or a great-grandmother who passed on. This person, uh, your grandma or your mom or your great grandma, she is very religious, very spiritual. She is someone who could have went to church all the time. This is someone here who really is telling you, look, if you don't work on these negative thoughts, they will manifest into reality and they will manifest things that you don't want. This is why your everyday offering is be prepared because when the love comes into your life, all you got to do is have one negative thought and it will go. And that the same experience you had in the past may happen again if you're not prepared, but it won't happen again because you're now aware of the changes that you need to make. Tell me more about great grandma here with the five of pentacles. What is the important message here? This person's really sad. They're sad because they see that you don't realize what you're doing, okay? Um, and this needs to change. So you have the three of pentacles here. You have the justice and you have the seven of cups in order to set your life right. Because one of the things that I noticed at the beginning of the reading was the justice in reverse. So something here hasn't been set right for some time. There's something here about you having an issue with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Libra, or a Taurus. This person that you had issues with, it could be someone in your family, take it as it resonates, this person, there's been a lot of... Uh, there's been a lot of negative energy between you and this person. There's been a lot of issues. You haven't talked to this person for quite some time. It could be your mom. It, it, it is somebody here in the family, okay? Or it could be someone here, a friend, 
whoever it is, there's been a lot of confusion surrounding the situation. There's something here about this person. You know, I don't want to say begging, but it's like this person, your grandma, your great grandma, this person who who has passed on. They're saying, look, there's no point in staying angry or upset at one another. Please find a way to work things out. And this is another blockage that you're facing here that you need to be prepared for, because once you forgive this person or there's this energy here of forgiveness, you know, accepting your differences with this person, you don't have to be best friends with them, but you certainly are being called by your ancestors, your angels who are passed on and looking at us from the stars looking from looking at us from above they're saying don't live in this confusion because all this confusion is doing is it's blocking you okay there's something here about our arguments or conflicts and if you're able to really resolve or find a way to resolve this it's going to help release these negative thoughts that have been manifesting into real problems and fear and there's also something here about you taking the money that you have and investing it into something that you enjoy doing, creating something from nothing. Because what that's going to actually do is it's going to bring you a lot of happiness and it's going to also be able to balance and set things right within you. Okay. And that's the message. This is one of the messages from your ancestors. The final message that you have is the Knight of Cups. And this is about you getting back to who you were from the past, okay? When I say getting back to who you were in the past, you were somebody in the past who was very, like, you would just go and do stuff. You'd, you'd say, yeah, I want to experience that. It's like your childlike curiosity has diminished. And this person who has passed on is saying, get back to this place of kind of living in this energy of being alive, okay? The water here is alive. The water flows. It flows down from the mountains. It flows down from the rocks. And it says romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, okay? And it says being swept off your feet, sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship, situation or topics that make your heart flutter, a love of art and pottery. So you may be somebody who liked to do art in the past. You may be somebody who liked to kind of just go and do your thing. What happened to that? That's what they're saying. They're saying in order for you to attract true love and and be able to be happy again, you need to be able to learn how to work through your differences with other people. Because here's the thing, when you attract this soulmate, and you will, there is going to be issues. There's always issues. If anybody tells you, oh, no, no, your relationship's going to be perfect. Everything's going to be fine. Nothing's going to go wrong. They're lying to you. Life is about growing. Life is about elevating our souls. And there are going to be challenges. So the reason why number five is connected to the Knight of Cups is because if you still have unresolved issues with someone in your family, mother, unresolved issues with a friend, and that is not cleared up, this soulmate, okay, and this is why soulmates come in, this soulmate's going to come in and stir something up within you that you still need to set right. And this is, again, very much connected with your everyday offering and your challenge of healing and being prepared for this. So either way, you're going to have to confront this is what your ancestors are saying. Look, either way, you're going to have to, you know, um, you're going to have to set something right here. If it's not set right through you, it will be set right through a soulmate who comes in. Okay. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. What is the important message from Lena's ancestors? You have the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. Their message for you is to find this person that you've had issues with that you never set things right with. Have a conversation with them, at least, at least maybe send a letter, phone call, leave a message, and then disconnect, okay? And what that's going to do is it's going to leave the negative emotional experience that you had in the past where it belongs because there's something that you're energetically holding on to what that's ultimately going to do is is it is it excuse me gonna bring in the soulmate for you the king of pentacles this soulmate who's coming in is someone that you meet through another person a friend or a, a colleague or someone that you know and it is through a party or some sort of gathering or get together and this is why your first card was the six of pentacles because this is about charity it's about being involved in certain groups or communities that allow you to express who you really are and you're somebody who's very happy you're somebody or at least that's how you were in the past happy you like to live life and 
you know, you've been kind of closed off. So this is what you're being called to do, okay, from your guides and uh, angels, ancestors, all right? So we're going to move on to your soulmate now. We're going to talk about your soulmate, this person that you are attracting. Tell me more about Lena's soulmate that is coming in. Who is this soulmate that's coming in? Who is this soulmate coming in? Who is this soulmate coming in? First card, you have King of Fire. And your person is motivational. They're idealistic. They're ambitious and charismatic. This person who's coming into your life, they're coming into your life to show you how to be motivational again, how to get back to this place of being an idealist, how to get back to this place of being ambitious and charismatic. In the past, you were somebody who had a lot of goals. You were like, yeah, I'm going to achieve this. I'm going to achieve that. And over time, your energy started to become diluted. Okay. And this is because of the negative thoughts. Of course, the things that have been happening in our personal lives, in the world, etc. So there is a shift that needs to happen here that you need to be prepared for. This person's coming in to show you how to be focused. It says focus, 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 communicate with vision and be a leader. You're somebody who's supposed to be a leader. You're somebody who's supposed to be in that power of that position of being a leader. And it says advice from someone creative. So this is someone who's creative. This person that you're attracting they like art. They're somebody who is going to make you feel like, wow, what happened to me? I changed. And they want to see you get back to this place of being motivational, being able to, um, to be who you truly are. Tell me more about this soulmate. I see you. I see you meeting this person in the summertime. Okay. This summer, it could be at an art show. Maybe you like art, a museum. There's something here about artists painters, writers, musicians, you're going to meet this person, this person's going to be at the top of their game. So you need to be prepared and be at the top of your game as well, too. I'm seeing August, I'm seeing July, I'm also seeing springtime, but I'm seeing most importantly, August here. Summertime, creative festival, art, tell me more about this soulmate that's coming in king of wands, look at that. King of Wands and the King of Fire is the King of Wands. And the Queen of Wands here, wow, again. And you have the Ten of Swords. Okay. So I'm feeling here that this person who's coming into your life, they are going to show you how to accept something that's done. There's something in your life that has been over for quite some time. I'm seeing 10 years, 10 weeks, 10 months, 10 days. This situation has been done for quite some time, but you've... You know, I'm going to be honest with you. You've been in this kind of victim mode or you've been in this place of, well, everything always goes wrong for me. Why doesn't it work out? This person is going to show you how to completely put an end to that. They're going to show you how to end it. They're going to say, look, there's no reason for you to hold on to this anymore. Focus on what it is that you want. Communicate your vision and be the leader that you're supposed to be. This is advice coming from someone who is creative and this is your person. And this king of wands that's coming in, we see they're like kind of like a teacher I'm getting here. And this person, they have a, a wand here and then there's the world. So something here is done. And this person's coming into your life, this soulmate, they're coming into your life to show you how to completely accept something when it's done and for you to release it. And this is definitely a soulmate because it is, uh, the, again, the queen of wands and the king of wands, two court cards side by side. Fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Possibly uh, I'm getting an Aquarius here. This is somebody who's like likes to work out or they're they're someone who eats healthy and they look really good. Like I'm getting a tanned skin tone, like an olive skin tone. Very, very like not too buff, but like. Uh, and even if this is even if it's, you know, uh, gender doesn't matter, doesn't matter who you're attracting you love who you love, this person takes care of their body is what I'm getting, okay? So this is one soul, potential soulmate that you may be meeting. Now, let's talk about the second possible soulmate energy that you are going to be attracting. Tell me more about Lena's soulmate. I'm hearing it's done. This Whoever this person is, they're going to show you it's done. It's over. Do not hold on to grudges. Do not hold on to negative thoughts, mind, mind 
patterns. There's something here about negative thoughts. It's very, very critical that you work on this because it is going to impact other uh, aspects of your life. You have the nine of air, which is the nine of swords. Okay. So again, I don't just say things and, and do things randomly. Everything has a purpose on this channel. Okay. So nine of swords is this anxiety and fear that you have. This person who you're attracting, there's somebody who, who is going to, this is a karmic soulmate. Okay. I'm just going to tell you, warning you, preparing you. This person's going to come in. You're going to find them very attractive. Whoever this per air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, they're very attractive, almost to a fault. And when they come in, they're somebody who expects the worst. They are somebody who fulfills their own pro prophecies and they're someone who has sleepless nights like you. So you may attract somebody who is going to mirror you. And when this person, when you attract this person and they start mirroring you, you're going to come back to this video and you're going to say, oh, Monica was talking about that. The only reason why you're attracting this type of person is because there's something within you you need to change. And one of the things that I mention on this channel is when you are attracting people, if you're in this energy that is not positive and you attract someone who is like this, it's just a signal from the universe that there's something within you you need to change. And what you need to change is exactly what I just said, the negative mind frame. The Nine of Swords is the anxiety card. We did see it in your reading at the top of your reading. So this is this is a big thing. And what spirit is saying to you is I care about you. I care about you because I want you to change. You know, it's like a mother or a father. A mother and a father, you know, sets boundaries and rules for their child because they care about the child, not because they want to punish the child. So you need to remember that when this person comes into your life and they start mirroring behaviors that you have within yourself and you say, I don't like this person. It just means that there's things about yourself that you don't like that you need to change. Tell me more about this soulmate that's coming into Lena's life. The nine of air is clarified by the death, the four of pentacles and the five of cups. You see, there's something here that you need to release. And if you don't release it on your own accord through meditation, affirmations and identifying this problem, the soulmate will come in. Things will end between you and this person. You will date them for a while. You'll hold on to them for a while. But there's a lot of sadness with this person. So to avoid this, okay, uh, you need to work on that within yourself. Otherwise, this is a karmic soulmate that you can potentially meet. This could happen closer to October. I'm also getting January when you may meet this person, okay? So the next soulmate that you may end up meeting Tell me more about this potential soulmate that Lena is meeting. Who is a soulmate? We have two of water. This is a true soulmate that's coming in. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person, you may meet them at a beach or on a vacation, or you may end up going somewhere exotic here. That's what I'm seeing. There's something here about diving, scuba diving. Uh, it says a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. Now, if you are someone who is still in love with someone from your past, I did see a reconciliation. There is a possibility of you coming back together with a particular person that, again, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, this person wants to resolve a conflict with you. The first card that came out for you was the justice in reverse. So there is still something here to be resolved with this person. Tell me more about this soulmate. There's definitely something here about you being in a relationship with someone here in the future. This person is going to forgive you. You're going to forgive them. You have the tower, the ace of cups and the star. Your deepest wish, Lena, is to get back together with this person. And if it's not to get back together with this particular person, it is to a attract new love. I see new love coming in. I see you getting what it is that you want after a tower moment. Like I said, if this is someone from your past, you're going to be rebuilding this relationship. You're going to have a new beginning with them. And most importantly, you're going to get what you desire, what you want. So whatever it is that you're wishing, you are going to get it and you are going to end up being in a relationship, okay? Either with someone here from the past that you still need to forgive. And by the way, this person wants you to forgive them. They just don't know if you're open to it. If you are open to it, I see a new new beginning in love happening for you, okay? So those are the potential soulmates that you could be attracting in your life uh, over the next, you know, year or so, all right? Now, 
let's get into your astrology. This is going to be the final portion of the reading. Now, like I said, for everybody that's watching live, I this reading is only 30 minutes, but I always give more in my readings because for me, I'm very passionate about what I do. I love what I do. I've studied astrology for over 20 years. I love the astrology cards. And I'm, I, I, I believe because for me personally, I've used tarot and I've used astrology to enhance my life. So this is why I include astrology into the readings. So you all know exactly, you know, what it is that you're getting. Okay. It's, it's, it's very clear here. Okay. So Lena, we're going to be focusing on your astrology. Now this is, these astrology cards I'm pulling for you are only energies. And these energies are going to help you connect with what you need to be aware of astrologically to enhance your life. So how can you enhance your life? What are the um, planets, the signs, the aspects that may be hindering Lena right now? And how can these aspects help improve her life? So the first card you have is Chiron and Chiron is the planet of healing and your whole entire uh, theme of your reading was healing. The first card that I, that came out that I looked at was the justice in reverse, the four of swords in reverse. You had the three of swords at the bottom of one of your um, cards and you also had the healing card and the first message here is Chiron. And you have number 28. So I recommend looking up number 28, angel number. When you look up number 28, you're also going to look up Chiron. And Chiron is the healer in the zodiac. Chiron is what happens in our life to allow us to heal. So your biggest message here on how to change your life is to heal certain relationships, certain traumas that you experienced. You're going to have to be the one to reach out, even though you may not want to. There's something here about apologizing, forgiveness, accepting, releasing here, okay? I recommend that you look up online the in-depth knowledge of Chiron. By studying and researching in-depth knowledge of Chiron and number 28, it is going to give you some sort of enlightenment in terms of what it is that you need to change in order to remove this blockage because there is some sort of blockage that has affected you from being able to move forward towards your goals. Tell me more about Chiron. What's the important message here that Lena needs to know? You have the Emperor, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. You see, the Two of Wands is about setting a path, a goal, moving forward in our life. So you need to think a lot, long and hard, about some sort of past experience, past relationships that you were involved in. In order for you to completely feel grounded again within yourself and not feel the blockages from being able to create the reality that you want, there's a need for you to really heal a certain relationship, maybe a relationship with your father. It could be a relationship with somebody here you've worked with or somebody here that you wanted to have plans with moving forward. But either way, there's a specific relationship. You're going to know what relationship it is. It's one specific relationship that has not been healed. It is blocked blocking you from having love and it is also blocking you from being able to manifest and uh, realize your goals. So there's a need for you to heal that. Okay. And that's what Chiron's going to help you do. Please look up Chiron and the number 28 to get more insight on that. Okay. Now the next card for you is the 10th house authority. This is about your career, okay? So your career right now, I don't know if you're working right now um, or you're planning on working or you have projects that you want to do. There's a goal that you have and it has a lot to do with your career. I do feel like you've given up on this goal or you've kind of swept it under the rug. This goal could be something here to do with art. It could have something here to do with colors, nature, there's something here about hiking. Now, of course, <laughs> you are in the province of hiking. So that, again, that's not ironic. 
Uh, so you have number 48 here and number 48, uh, you please look up number 48 to see what the angel number is associated with that. It is connected to your career. It is connected to you. And it's not even about money for you. It's more about you achieving this goal. It's a goal that you've had for your, for the longest time ever. I am getting also with the 10th house here that you have some sort of authority in your career or you have the capacity to create some sort of authority. You don't know how powerful you are, Lena. You are very powerful, but you've forgotten your power is what this is telling me. Your focus should be on achieving this goal because this is something that you hold very dear to your heart. Tell me more about the 10th house here for Lena. What's the important astrological message? You have the Ten of Wands in reverse. You have the Knight of Cups in reverse. And you have the Three of Pentacles. There's something here about you working with other people. In order to realize this goal, you need to find like-minded people. You need to start reaching out to like-minded people. Uh, there's something here about you still having some sort of issues within your personal life related to love that you haven't completely ended here. There's something in your life, and it's showing up again, that you're still holding on to that's done. Uh, but it's not quite done. There's still some work here that you need to do. And this, again, could have a lot to do with blockages that are happening in your life. Things that we may not realize is, is that when blockages happen in our life, they happen in our life for, for a reason. It's because it's to show us things that we need to change. This blockage related to a goal that you have has not been realized because of something here in the past with someone here that ended very badly. You didn't close out correctly. And I do feel like this is with a family member or a friend or a past lover. Whatever it is, you need to be able to heal and forgive from this situation because if you're still in this place of holding on to the grudge, then it is going to affect and impact your ability to achieve your goals, okay? Especially career goals at this time. It is showing me that you have certain people in your life that are ready and, and, and willing to work with you to realize this goal that you have. It's a very big goal. You've had it for years, okay? So this is what I'm seeing that that's again creating this blockage for you that needs to be released. The final card for your astrology is the semi-square uh, quinox tension. Any tension that you have in your body, any tension you have in, in your relationships, any tension that you have if you have a pet or an animal at home, all this tension that has arisen, it has arisen because something here is done, but it didn't end correctly. You have the number 54. I recommend looking up the number 54 as the angel number. Tell me more about this tension card. What is the important message astrologically for Lena? Okay. Yes. Okay. So there's tension between you and a specific person. You haven't spoken to this person for quite some time. You've been trying to have a new beginning for quite some time. The new beginning doesn't happen or there's constant fails and struggles. Before I let you go, this is the final card in your reading. Before I let you go, I'm just going to say this to you. And I'm, I know I've been repeating myself. And for all of you who've been watching the lives and the personal readings, you may say, oh, Monica's always repeating herself. Oh, why does she repeat herself? Jeez, I don't want to hear that over and over. It's a repeating. You know why I'm repeating myself? Because it's an important message that you constantly overlook. You constantly overlook this conflict. You think, whatever, I like, I, I ended things with that person years ago, but did you end them correctly with them? Did you end it with, thank you very much for the experience. I'm releasing you now and I'm ready to move on to my new beginning. If you didn't, then you need to go back and you need to resolve things with this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Once you completely remove this blocked energy of grudge, negative energy, not setting things right with this person, just ending things, but not ending things correctly. Once you write that letter or you make the text message or the phone call, it's not about arguing. It's just about, Hey, I've been thinking about this. I know we didn't have the greatest relationship and I'm releasing you in a positive light. I'm wishing you all the best in your life. I'm wishing us not to have any more grudges or anger towards one another. And once you remove this tension, because there is some sort of tension astrologically that's showing up, you're going to be able to have that breakthrough. And you see, you see like some sort of breakthrough here with the liquid that's breaking, 
the energy through and what that leads to is this brand new beginning that you're looking for okay and again there there you are by the fire doing that meditation in nature that's what i feel like you're going to be doing and removing these blockages okay so lena this is what i have for you i hope this reading helped you i hope you got something out of it i want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for purchasing the um the personalized reading with me and trusting me to do that for you I will uh, send you an email with the link and there is gonna be timestamps below. So if you're interested in just clicking through the timestamps so you don't have to hear me babble, then you can do that as well. I'm really, really thankful for the uh, support on the channel. And for all of you who have been watching uh, their live, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being a part of our community. If you are interested in having a personal live reading with me, Monica Louvre on the love messages, it is available below this video. There is a description box where you can click the link. You can purchase your uh, personalized reading with me. Now, just keep in mind, I do highly recommend that you read the full description of the product so you know exactly what you're getting with me. If you have any questions at all about having a personalized reading live with me on the love messages, then you can reach out to me on live chat. Uh, either myself or one of our customer service representatives will reach back out to you to answer any of your important questions. I am sending you all lots of love and light. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, I will see you on the next one.